so I'm here and I'm actually going to do a review today on L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. Um, oh my god, this is the foundation. I don't know why I'm thinking of concealer right now, but this is the foundation. And this one promises to give a demi matte finish up to 24 hours with medium coverage and air light texture. Now, I don't know who wants to wear it for 24 hours, but it's worth a try. So I'm gonna do this. And I already did one eye by accident. I did my liner instead of just being patient. But yeah, I'm just mostly doing the review on the foundation. So I won't be doing the eye look, nor will I be doing lashes really today. So Let's see how it is. Before I do the foundation, I'm going to do NYX Studio Perfect Photo Loving Primer. I got this at my local Ulta. And I actually, this is my first time using this as well. So in theory, I should be doing a primer that I already know and love. But um, I heard great things about this one. So I just wanted to give it a try just to see, like what everyone is talking about and what the whole rub and fuss is about. I gotta be careful. To find my favorite Real Technique brush and <sighs> that's missing. So I'm actually sad about that. So now I have to apply with the Jessa brush, which is equally fine. It's just, I prefer that brush. So here's my rant with foundations. I can't stain them when they make my face look red or ashy. So it just seems like those are the two options when it comes to foundations for African American women. We're women of color. And that's my rant. And I was looking for a foundation to replace my favorite drugstore brand of foundations, which is um, we're all in photo ready, and this is in 12 Mocha. And I forgot to say which one is this one's in. This one is in 112 Coco, so they kind of have the same numbers and the same everything which I'm not gonna lie it was kind of hard for me to pick one because they had another one that looked kind of almost identical to it so it was kind of like a hmm do I go here or this one so I'm gonna take my real technique brush and hopefully like pat it out it would give me more of a natural finish to it. Because if it keeps making me look red, I am going to check this up as a um, nice try, but not for me. beating I can do but uh as they're going for right now I'm really liking it oh, this might have to go into my uh, book of don't buy again so I don't know let's see what I'm on and see if that makes me feel a little better about it if it doesn't then this one's going in El Trasho. And I got this one from my local Walmart, I think. So. And I was not shopping distracted, so I had time to look. 
can see this is what I really want. So, and if it's not, then, oh, good Lord. No, that's not all I do. <sighs> Pray for me. Oh, God. Sometimes. Some brands are just not meant for everybody. I just like colors. And just like I put concealer on and I just can't tell. Oh my god. Oh god, this has bothered me. I guess I'm not having a good time. I'm not having a good time right now. You hear music, that means my neighbors are home and they don't really know much about keeping music at a good decimal. And I'm going to take my Ben Nye and about, what is this, my banana powder, Ben Nye. And we're just going to set that and pray. Just turns out okay. And I'm not going to let it bake very long. I'm not going to let it bake really any. Then I'm going to take my Max Studio Fix Pro, well, <laughs> Max Fix Studio, well, I'm sorry, Studio, Max Studio Fix, ding, 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 third time. So I'm going to just take that, and then with this, I'm just going to buff, hopefully, like this. So I had to stop recording for a sec because... My memory card was full and I thought that I was recording with my um, YouTube one, but I was recording with my um, one I take photos with. So that was my problem. Like, whoops. And then I'm going to just go in with my Milani blush, even though I like Maybe I should tie to a little bit. Maybe. You know. Like the results. I don't know. I'm just going to go with my blush today. And just see. Hmm. And then I'm going to go in with my Makeup Revolution One Thin Blush Palette. This is one of my ultimate favorites to get some highlight going on. And I'm probably just going to do a simple little pink one right here. And I'm just going to highlight. Even though I'm not doing a full look, I can still get a little shine in there. Here. So. 
Mm -hmm. Let's hope this looks okay. Yes, right now I'm actually starting to look how it looks. Kind of the moment. I don't know which lipstick I want to go in with. I either want to go with the NYX Gold Digger or the Full Throttle. This one I think is the one I have problems with because it kicked it. it just let me just try it out and see what I like. So now I can go back in with the NYX, this is a NYX liner, so it's one of my faves when I'm trying to go to a liner and when I just don't want to have to. Hey, it's cute for the neighborhood. But that's why my kids don't go, can't go play with him. Oh. I'm just going to line the bottom of my lash just not to make it feel as naked as it is because it is naked. So I'm just going to go in with my Too Faced palette um, chocolate bonbon. I'm just going to go in with that and I'm going to go in with the Eagle Bright. To complete it all, I'm just going to go with um, Benefit Roller Lash and just to complete this look. So I was going to do a natural hair orient and then I forgot, oh wait, well, this is the time of year where I put my hair up and protect the style, so you guys are going to be seeing a natural hair orient with the wig on. My bad. My, my, my bad. And it's like I should contour. Hmm. Who am I kidding? I'm not going to. I just like the way it is. That's all I got to say. But then if you're wondering, this is a um, hot glue wig that I did and it's, it's alright. It's not one of my favorites, but I mostly do hot glue wigs just for the purpose of recording. I don't, don't normally use them for any other times, but yeah. But okay, time for a review. But my opinion of this foundation is for right now it's a fail i feel like i just started off a little too orange and then it just took a minute for it to i don't know find me sort of like but <sighs> it's not one of my favorites if i have to replace this with this give me a minute
Okay, I like it now. I feel like it's okay. I feel like it's not um, a favorite, but it will do for now. So I don't feel like it will be one that I'll use all the time, but I feel like it will get the job done. So at first it was a no, but now as I sat here and really thought about it and really looked at my skin closer, I felt like it's actually an okay foundation for everyday needs. So I will give this my thumbs up for now. So I will try to give this another go-to in another video that I do because I'm not going to just do it one time and be like, oh, it's sold. I need this, but no, I'm going to do it again. <sighs> so yeah, this is my okay for this. So thanks you guys for watching and I hope you guys have a great day.